Hi, welcome to Undead Yarn. This is episode 106. My name is Heidi, and you can find me as Nitty Girl on Ravelry, and you can find me as Undead Yarn on Instagram and on Twitter. How's everybody doing? It's been it's been a while, but not too long. Uh, I think I was able to keep it within a month, like I've been planning. Um, I'm looking over here. If my I look over here, it's because my show notes and all my stuff. Or they're all over here. Uh, it's such a nice day outside. I thought I would just uh, record outside and be able to use the natural light. So let's see. Let me start with what I have been working on. What I've been working on is a test knit and it's for Avalon Designs. And the name of the shawl is called Dirt Roads and Blue Jeans. And so far, I have used two different colors. I'm gonna, it's actually a two color shawl, but I'm gonna use three different colors probably. Um, but they'll both, they'll all be fairly similar so that won't, um, won't stand out too much. First color I used is Chumley. This is what it looks like wound up. And the second color I used is Pale Man which as you can tell is a very pale pink. And the third color I'm going to use is Graveyard because I think these two have a lot of colors that are similar. So it's uh, it's going, it's kind of looking like a boomerang right now, but eventually it will look like um, a regular shawl, but it is knit from side to side. So this is the Chumley colorway. And I don't think she minds if I show you guys. This is actually, I'm showing you the wrong side. This is the right side. Although it's garter, so I don't think she would mind that I'm showing you guys because um, the pattern's already, the pictures are already up. So here you can see I started with Chumley and then there's a fade into the Pale Man. And back to Chumley and then the Pale Man again. And this is mostly what I've been working on because I would like to get uh, this test knit done before I start working on other things. I tend to get easily distracted, <laughs> as you guys know. <laughs> um, and I am, along with you guys, working on my whips. I decided not to frog this one because I really like it. And this is in my Casey's Pockets to Go bag from Yellow Rose Fiber Festival. And I am knitting with round, round Table Yarns, and this is her Merlin, Merlin color. I think it's a, I don't know if it's a Merlin base. Oh, it's Merlin, Merlin base, and the colorway is Fair Both Night and Day. And I have one sock almost done. I just have to put in the heel. And then I'm going to, I started, I actually did start the second sock, but I frogged it because I already messed it up. <laughs> I actually took this with me when I went uh, to visit some of my friends. A bunch of us got together for some birthdays at uh, the Austin Keeper, Keeper Cider, Texas Keeper Cidery. <laughs> and it was in South Austin. Um, it was a beautiful day then, too. We've been, we've been very lucky. I know a lot of people are kind of suffering right now with the cold, but... We've been very lucky. We've had, uh, we did have some days that were cold, but not that cold. Um, we had a really nice day then. It was 67, and I think it's going to be 70 today. So, um, yeah. So I was knitting and talking, and didn't work. <laughs> oh, goodness. I hope they're not coming to mow our lawn. I'm hearing noise out there. So I may have to stop. If I do have to stop, I guess I will just re-record this whole thing because um, I do not want a bunch of noise in the background. <laughs> so I'm going to try to keep going, but we'll see. Um, the winner of the tea from Ninja Chickens, the apple cider donut tea, and the pin is uh, Looney Hiker, and that's Pat from South Carolina. Pat, uh, please send me your address so I can send this to you. Um, I, there were a lot of you who, there were probably about, I don't know, about 20 entries, and most of y'all, I couldn't tell if you were subscribed or not, it didn't look like it, um, so she was the first one I pulled that 
I could tell it was subscribed. So she wins. <laughs> and I'm still listening. I'm not quite sure what that noise is. I may um, just go ahead. Let me go ahead and say all the winners and I'll post that and then I'll finish up the podcast later. So the winner of the Finish or Frog It is Jodi Daya, and that's Jody from California. And she has won a skein of Malabrigo. And then the FO thread winner is Summer from Summer Yarns. And she knit a hat out of my Houston colorway. So, and it's also her birthday, so happy birthday. Um, I am gonna try to shove in a few things um, quickly. The Chumley colorway is a special colorway that I will be dyeing for the rest of the year and I'm going to give proceeds, 20% of the proceeds every month to a different rescue group in Austin. The first uh, group is uh, Town Lake Animals Shelter and they have a new name now and I posted that on um, Instagram. But that's where we found Chumley so I'm going to give them, they get $20 because I had a couple of, several skeins were bought for this month so 20 bucks is going to go to them. And, well, maybe it's not. Maybe they're not coming to my yard. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, and then I also wanted to mention the Lots of Socks Knit Along, which is being run by Paper Daisy Creations. And it's to support Down Syndrome International. And there was a little boy who, um, I haven't read all of the story yet, but there's a little boy that uh, encouraged her to do this. And... Um, on Down Syndrome International Day, which is March 15th, she's encouraging everybody to wear two mismatched socks. But right now, she's running the Lots of Socks, and it runs February 1st through the 15th, I think. Um, and every day, a new designer is going to be giving 50% off their patterns. And then a bunch of us, as dyers, are going to be donating prizes, and I'm also... Um, dying up a special colorway for Down Syndrome Awareness. I've sold, unfortunately, sold the first two that I dyed. Those are gone and I still have some more to dye. But it is a colorway that is a speckle with a couple of blues. Let me see if I can find a picture on my phone. With some blues and yellows, which are the colors for Down Syndrome Awareness. Let's see if I can pull up the, a picture so I can show you guys. I wish I had the yarn in person, but I do not. That's what it looks like. If you go on Etsy, you can see it. And $3 of every skein that I uh, sell will be sent to Down Syndrome. No, it's not that. It's National Association for Down Syndrome. And I picked them because I noticed that they do a lot of programs for people and they do training for parents and for all kinds of people. So I really like that they do that. So I decided that's where I'm going to donate the money. Um, so far, I've sold four skeins, kind of like the Chumley colorway, but I wanted to mention it because it's only running through this month. So if you're interested in one of those skeins, it's only going to be running through the month of February. At the end of February, I'll take it down off the website, but $3 from every skein will go towards National Association for Down Syndrome. And, ooh, it sounds like they're not mowing my lawn. It's somebody else's lawn, so I can keep going, which is great. Um because I really didn't want to rush through everything. Um, let me show, let me also show you, since I have time now, I want to show you the hat that, um, that Summer knit that helped her win the FO Thread Prize. She wins a $7 or less pattern, and anybody who posts a picture of something they've knit in my yarn is eligible each month for a prize of the $7 or less pattern. So let me pull that up so I can show what she knit. I really like the hat. It's got an interesting um, top on it. Okay, here's what the, ooh, it's gonna pull a bigger picture up for me. Actually, there's a couple of pictures. So let's see if it will pull up a picture. Here's one. This was my Houston colorway, which was Lester. It was named after their mascot. And I wanted to show this because it's kind of got a neat top on it. That's kind of a cool picture. Let's see if I can tell you what the pattern was that she used. Uh, it's called Keepsies by Hunter Hammerson. 
So that is all the prize winners. And I already mentioned that uh, friends and I, we all got together and um, we went to the Texas Keeper Cidery, which was a lot of fun. It was a bunch of us from Austin and San Antonio that like to get together once a month. And uh, it was nice that she found a different place for us to meet this time. My friend, actually, it was my friend Elisa who set it up, and she also has a podcast. They have the River City Knits podcast. She and Enid, Elise, Elisa, and uh, Amanda all have a podcast together, and Amanda is the dyer behind Lone Star Arts, so go check their podcast out because it's fun, and they're, they're a lot of fun. I enjoy watching them because I feel like I'm hanging out with them when I watch their podcast. So the other thing I wanted to mention is that this is something I'm doing because I want to do it. Um, I hope that everybody else will be as excited about it as I am, but um, since when I was a kid, I was really, really into music, and most of the music I love was from the 80s, and so I dyed up a colorway that uh, ins was inspired by an album cover by my favorite artist, and my favorite artist is Adam Ant, and I picked one of the older, um, I didn't pick Adam Ant, an Adam Ant cover, I picked the first album I ever bought from him, which was Kings of the Wild Frontier, and that was my inspiration for the color, this colorway, and you can see I have a little bit of all the colors in there, let me move it around a little bit, you can't tell, there's a little bit of the yellow because some of it's underneath. But this is the colorway Killer in the Home, and it was inspired by this album. And I'm going to be doing a new one every month. I'll probably keep, I'll keep them up as long as they're popular. Um, I really am excited to knit this up. I was thinking about knitting some fingerless mitts, but I don't know if I need any more of those. I will think about what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do socks with this. I want something, I like the colors near my my skins are showing, so I don't know, and I definitely don't need another cowboys <laughs> looking in my closet with my my um, coats, and there's like cowls mashed to every coat. <laughs> I don't need any more of those, so I don't know. I don't really think I want to do a shawl, um, so I may stick with the fingerless mitts, because I only did one, and I feel like if I'm going to do more, I need to um, put them up on the website, because <laughs> that's the whole point, right? <laughs> Here's the color again. This is called Killer in the Home, and it's named after a song from the Kings of the Wild Frontier. So I'm going to be doing all kinds of 80s. I was really into alternative music and um, R&B when I was uh, a child in the 80s, so those are going to be my inspirations. I wasn't really into pop music, although I will say some of the my favorites uh, that were also alternative also were really popular uh, mus musicians, too. So... There'll be a mix of different bands from the 80s. Um, mostly, I think I'm probably going to use the album covers as my inspiration because that's what I think of when I think of most of those artists. I think of the album covers of my favorite albums. So anyway, I'm doing that because I'm very excited about it and it makes me smile. Um, oh, I did have, I did want to talk, oh wait. Let me tell you, since I, I don't always have it ready, but this is going to be the color. This is a self-striping yarn by Sunset Stitches, and this is going to be the skein of yarn for next month's um, Finisher Froggit. So make sure you read the rules. All you have to do is post a picture of something that you have not completed, and it needs to have a begin date and an end date on it. So when you finish or frog it, put the end date and show a picture of your FO or U UFO and then a picture of your FO or your frogged item. And that's going to run through the whole year. Each month I will have a skein of yarn to give away. So it will be the self-striping by Sunset Stitches uh, for next month. And was there anything else? I feel like I rushed myself at the beginning and I didn't mean to. Oh yes, I didn't want to mention that I am once again going to the Hill Country Weavers Retreat, which is at the end of the month. It starts on February 28th, and Andrea Mowry will be there. I'm very excited. Um, I've knit uh, 
free your fade yeah I knit free your fade with some of my yarn and I'm actually in the process of dyeing some yarn up to knit another one of her patterns uh, I don't think it'll be done by then it would be nice if it was but I doubt I'll be finished with it by then but at least I can be knitting on it while I'm there <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. I get to see my friends. Uh, a bunch of my friends are going and um, some people from out of town that I didn't expect to be going that I know that are also my friends will be there too. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I really enjoy going every year and Hill Country Weavers knows how to put on a good retreat. So um, I think that's it. I guess I don't know if I rushed through this. I hope not. <laughs> Um, and I think I got to everything that I wanted to talk about. I felt like I had so much to say, but, um, well, maybe this is just a little bit shorter one this time. It looks like it's about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, which is okay. I maybe will um, come back on and uh, do another one in a couple of weeks if I have some more to talk about. So anyway, make sure that you go ahead and check out the website if you're interested in any of the colors. Remember that the Lots of Socks Knit Along is only going on for this month, so if you would like that colorway or if you're interested in um, participating in it, go to Paper Daisy, Paper Daisy Creations on Ravelry or look for her on Instagram and you can take a part, part in that. And with that, I'm going to say get busy knitting or get busy dyeing.